Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. I got delivery notification for the carbon fiber mini tripod. I am going to now do something else and that the local guitar center has the Sennheiser MKE 200 in an open box. So it's cheaper. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give that a try. So after I get the, the tripod, we're gonna to drive to Guitar Center and I'm gonna pick up that microphone and give that a test as well. So right now I'm recording just on the mic, the internal mic on the camera, just so that you can see the difference or hear the difference. So, all right, well, let's go get everything. All right, I got it. Let's rip it open. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Holy crap, this thing is light. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be too, which isn't a bad thing. Okay, so we've got the legs, and then we've got the inverted ball head. Three different sized keys. All right, so there's a little coal chew here, and then we've got this little plate, which is just about the size of the Manfrotto plate. But I like this because it, it's Arca style and it's square. I want to show it to the screen, dumbass. Very comfortable. I was afraid that this was going to be too big when it was, uh, you know, when the legs were, were brought in together, but it's actually very comfortable. Now, the only thing is it's going to be slippery as hell because this carbon fiber is, is like, the legs are polished and they're really slippery, but otherwise, this is a total win. I can tell you right off the bat, this is a total winner. This is great. So much lighter now. All right, now we're gonna go get a microphone. Okay, bit of a snag. I went to Guitar Center and they told me that they in fact did not have those microphones and that if it said that it was available or in stock online, it just meant that it was available in their warehouse and it would take three to five days to actually get it. So there was no point in me buying that stupid thing there. So I'm just gonna stick with what I got, which right now is the Rode Wireless Go because I love it. Now, as you can see, I got the Ulanzi MT29 Compact Carbon Fiber Tripod. It comes in a nice box. I'll just open it up and show you what it looks like inside the box, even though you can see it right there. So it's a nice red and black box. It came just stuffed in there, nice and neat, perfect cutout. You get a little invitation to join their group and so on and so forth. And then it came with a little baggie with three different size Allen keys. It came obviously with the tripod itself, the legs, and then the inverted ball head was packed separately. And within there, there was also a plate that fits inside here. Now, for comparison purposes, I've got the Peak Design standard plate right next to it. And if you look at it, other than a couple extra holes and a different screw, it is virtually identical to the Peak Design plate. Now, where it gets different, basically, all right, whatever. This is the Ulanzi plate and it is thicker this way. It goes up the like the actual little pedestal or whatever goes up a little bit further and then on the back end there is a raised lip and that is so that it catches on your camera and won't slide forward of it in theory. Now on the bottom side it has these little holes on the four spots and it came with two of them but it's got little screws that go in there and that's what keeps this from falling off of the tripod head itself. It's annoying as shit though because then instead of just sliding the camera in however the hell I want to you have to actually like place it in and open the jaws up all the way and I just don't like that shit. I have it tightened down. I'm paranoid of it. I'm constantly tightening it down and checking it so I'm not worried about it falling off there. Knock on wood. The other thing is that I had said that I was going to not use a plate because this has, this Ulanzi uh, cage has grooves in it for Arca fittings. 
But the more that I think about it, the more that this damn thing doesn't weigh that much. In fact, I'm gonna tell you how much it weighs. Now, this was in my other video. I did weigh one of these plates. I weighed the Peak Design standard plate, but this is the Ulanzi plate. And we've got 17 grams. And now, for this, 319 grams. The Bluetooth grip is 287 grams. That I don't have a problem with. The problem with this is that loose little swingy thing that makes it feel like it's, it's just gonna snap off. Now, this is what I've been using. So here's the Ulanzi BG2 battery grip with the ZDO aluminum legs, a Joby ball head, and this Arca clamp at the top. So let's weigh that. That'll be the true test. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what I've been running around with for a while now. And this thing is 562 grams. So it's, it's almost twice what, what either one of these are. I'm definitely happy that this Ulanzi carbon fiber is so much lighter. A little bit heavier than the Bluetooth grip, but it's worth it because it is sturdy. I'm not worried about the camera breaking off on this thing. If you have it set to a certain spot, because this little ring here spins and that determines the, how far the legs are gonna go down. So you've got it either in the closed position or if you have this all the way counterclockwise, it opens up like that, kind of standard. But then if you spin this, you close them a little bit and then you spin it all the way clockwise, now it flattens out like that. So it's, it's pretty much to the ground, which of course, if you're trying to balance your big ass camera and you want a low shot, that's the best place to put it. But I'm a little bit more at the standard side. So I'm gonna spin it all the way the other way. So that's sitting up a little bit. The nice thing about this is once you figure this all out and it, and it's got little things here, locked, unlocked. So if you unlock this, you can spin this. I mean, and it'll go, definitely will go 90 degrees, it, you know, for the most part, if for some unknown reason you have to do that. And then on this side, it has a cold shoe, if you can see. So what I've done is I want the camera sitting so that the lens is sticking out towards a leg. So basically I just set that down there and tighten it. And now it's not going to go anywhere. Now this has two knobs, so to speak, one inside the other. If you spin the black knob, that just tightens the jaws so that you can clamp it down. Then this inner red one spins independently and that allows you to actually twist this in a complete circle. And then you can just put the camera on here. Tighten that down and she ain't going anywhere. I could draw this out, but the bottom line is, is that this is now the winner of the grips that I'm going to use for this new A7C and the 16 to 50 F4 Sony lens. I will put links down below to this tripod. Check it out. I, I highly recommend it. And, you know, and I, I only just now hooked it up, but I think it's going to be a great thing. If anything goes wrong with it, I'll tell you in a later video. But that's all I got for you today because I got more forms to fill out. So as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.